The Democratic Republic of Congo is the size of Western Europe. Since 1998, well over 5 million people have been killed due to civil war and internationally backed militias, making it one of the 10 deadliest wars in recorded history. Yet it remains largely ignored by the rest of the world. Everyone suffers in Congo, but those who suffer the most are women. Women have been the first victims of all these conflicts we've had. They are being raped because rape, as you know, uh, has been used as a weapon of war. La majorité de ces patients sont des patientes jeunes. Dont l'âge varie entre 13 à 18 ans. Après avoir abusé d'elles, ils introduisent même des, des objets dans les vagins. Et puis de là, la, la femme se retrouve, la, la fille se retrouve avec la fille. 80% of people in Congo live in rural areas. And when we say rural, it is really rural. There is no road, there is no facilities at all. And the ladies are paying the highest price of every rebellion because the wife have no right. They have been kept behind everything. The wife has been considered like different from a male. Sasa ni pataka shida isa ba M23 balifika kapa. Mwaka ni bakaka. Shida zaidi ya ni mlipata wana kani katana. Kwenye alienda kule, kurudia akakia na mwingine mwanamuki. Akatia pale ndani ya hini mbao. Nafue kubatia, akakua na nima na rasyo. Na bitu yote, prema tukabakia tu probleme tu kila siku, kila siku, anasema haezi ishi na muamuke mwenye balishi. Heal Africa provides immediate medical and emotional treatment for women in need and follows up with years of counselling, literacy and job training. Anna is learning to sew so that as an orphan she can look after her younger brothers and sisters. She's also continuing her counselling at Heal Africa. Mama Joella and her eight children are being completely cared for by Heal Africa, who continue to mediate with her husband in the hope that he will accept her back in a more equal partnership. In the meantime, she's learning vital skills to aid her self-sufficiency. <laughs> Nanisha jua kushona kidogo, na jua ile kupika benye, na jua kushona vikapo, na sema mungu wapewe sifu. Aye. Thank you. At the time of filming, Rahame, one of Heal Africa's three counsellors, had not been paid for six months due to lack of funding. Yet, as a rape victim herself, she remains dedicated to helping these women and still turns up to work every day in the hope more funding can be found. Mm -hmm.